I think sometimes the public makes us in the game industry feel like we must be working on pornography. But frankly, uh, there's nothing, there's no medium. In fact, there's not even any other human experience that has the learning power of games. So first of all, we have the, the fact that neuroscientists have figured out that the single best way to increase human intelligence is through interaction that we in fact learn by doing. I think we kind of know that. We, I think we kind of know that you learn in real world experiences much faster than through any other means. And there's the old Chinese proverb, I, I, uh, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. So th that's an old proverb. That's been around probably a few thousand years at least. So we kind of in instinctively know this, but the problem is, let's say I want to learn how to fly an airplane. If I get in a real airplane and start flying that thing, it's really expensive and it's actually really dangerous. On the other hand, if I can simulate that in a computer, I can fly every kind of airplane that's ever been made and I can crash hundreds of millions of dollars worth of planes and nobody gets hurt. So it's really the, it's through the power of simulation that you get with computers and the ability to have the computer do all that work behind the scenes and then present something to you that's really accessible to any human being that they can operate and get immersed in and be enabled to do anything. I mean, again, Carl Jung, he said the best way to learn about yourself is to fantasize about being someone else. So again, we've had this incredible ability to put uh, gamers in any kind of a story, playing any kind of a character and having any kind of experience. So, it is the medium for creating synthetic experience, and you can create synthetic experience way faster than real experience.